fact, uh, one of the very important thing is just to know what is high blood pressure. Uh, so many times I see patients, you know, they're absolutely fine and uh, they land up in problems and they come to us with heart attacks and also with strokes and so many problems. And when you check their blood pressure, it is high. And if you ask them, they're not aware. So uh, there's a very common thing. What is blood pressure? Blood pressure scientifically described is the pressure exerted by the blood against the vessel wall. And what is a normal blood pressure? We can measure it uh, by a mercury sphygmanometer or any other instrument. And uh, the normal blood pressure is 120 by 80. Anything more than this is known as a high blood pressure. But when do we treat it? As a cutoff, just for a layman, you know, according to the various guidelines, if the blood pressure is more, maybe around more, uh, 140 or in the diastolic more than 90, then definitely you need to treat it with medication and also with the lifestyle. So the blood pressure is something scientifically, scientifically described as a pressure exerted by the blood against the vessel wall and it can be very easily checked and it's very important to check it because most of the people are asymptomatic. In fact, I like to go a step ahead and you ask this question that what can be the triggers and alarms but it is very important that even if there is no trigger and alarm at least once in a year that's the minimum one should measure the blood pressure and by doing this you will be picking up so many people with high bp most commonly high blood pressure has no symptoms at all but if someone has headache especially early in the morning or uh, you know heaviness in the head any symptoms of unexplained nausea vomiting and feeling listless so one must check the blood pressure. These are the very common symptoms and sometimes patients just present with complications like breathlessness, headaches and they tend to get into troubles like uh, strokes or a TIA or even cardiac episodes. Yeah, definitely in fact whenever we treat anyone with high blood pressure, we emphasize both on lifestyle as well as pharmacological therapy. Now there's a challenge. The challenge is almost all the people they are not able to maintain their blood pressure just on lifestyle alone. So if we treat hypertension, the major pillar of treatment of hypertension is the pharmacological therapy. The other lifestyle measures, they are very good, they do help a little bit but not a very significant reduction in blood pressure with them. But the problem with lifestyle measure is that in all the studies, patients did have reduction and then but when followed up over a long period of time, we don't sustain the lifestyle measures. So, you can't just do away with pharmacotherapy. So both the things, pharmacotherapy, mainstay and then lifestyle also contribute significantly. Uh, like, you know, I like to make it very simple. And when you talk of DASH diet, it's a Western concept. But in the Indian context, the simple things like the reduction in the salt intake, the simple steps, you don't add salt to anything extra. And avoiding things which have extra salt, like pickles, puffer, chutneys and all that. This is one thing and then walking. Walking reduces blood pressure. Surprisingly, so many studies have shown 10,000 to 15,000 steps a day really helps. Exercise helps. Aerobic exercises do the two help. So it does help in reduction of blood pressure. And then intake of fresh fruits and vegetables. That also helps, goes a long way as far as the lifestyle measures are concerned. Yes, I'd like to uh, give the first advice is that look, take care of your lifestyle, maintain a very healthy lifestyle, walk, walk at least 10,000 steps in a day, eat a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables, avoid extra salt, sugar and also another very important thing which I think is the pertinent that at least once in a year or every six months even if you are asymptomatic check your blood pressure that's very important measure the blood pressure just measuring will pick up so many people who have high blood pressure and who are not aware of that and the third advice which is very common is which I really find it hard to uh, make patients understand is the importance of compliance of medicines. Once the medicines are started or uh, the medicines have to be taken properly, they are not for just some time, you need to take it and without consulting your doctor, don't stop your medicine.